My name is Saman Essen. I'm a Soviet scholar from the first batch, 2003 to 2004, and I'm from Lahore, Pakistan. I am currently the executive director of Girls Action Foundation. It's a nonprofit based in Montreal, but works across Canada. I am really passionate about uh, working towards making the world a better place for children, especially girls. Because growing up in Pakistan, I saw a lot of discrimination, gender discrimination, and I saw that girls were not given the opportunities that they deserve. And it's been my passion since then to work in this field to make sure that girls and boys have equal opportunities and equal resources and uh, are able to really reach their full potential. Girls Action Foundation is uh, an organization that supports the leadership development and empowerment of girls and young women in Canada. We work directly with girls in schools in Montreal. We work with young women from across Canada through our National Leadership Program for Young Women. And we also work with our partners and network members. We have a national network of more than 300 member organizations in all provinces and territories of Canada who are implementing programs with girls and young women in their communities. So we work with them to support them and motivate and inspire them, connect them to each other and to resources. I had studied at McGill um, and lived in Montreal for a few years, but the, the kind of interaction and the kind of community I had at Soviet House, I had not had before. That there's 14 of us living in a house from all over the world and interacting with one another, learning from one another, pushing one another. Throughout the year, we were really there for each other and we became really close. But that doesn't mean that we didn't push each other. We did have arguments, we pushed each other. We were, I, I guess if you put 14 leaders in a house, that's going to happen. But it was a great experience to really live with uh, these amazing people from all over the world and to learn from them, to have fun with all of them, to learn about their work and what they're doing and their perspective, their countries. So it was, I would say it was an amazing experience. And my project was uh, making a video on the work that I had been doing before that in Pakistan. So before coming uh, to the survey program, I had been working for and with girls in Pakistan for the last five years. And that was, of course, again, I'm very passionate about that kind of work. So I was really passionate and motivated about that work. And when I came to the survey program, I found out that we have the opportunity of getting video tutoring and learning how to make a video. So I used the opportunity to make a video on the project, the Girl Child Project of Pakistan. And uh, that was my project and I'm very proud of it. Coming here and being in a community of leaders and knowing that each one of us is a leader, it really made me feel that yes, I am a leader, I have things to say, I have things that I can contribute, things that I can change. And uh, maybe my leadership style is not the same as everyone else's, but it's there as much. And I really left with that sense that I am a leader. The best thing about the program was the support that we got from each other and the way we wanted as a community. It was amazing. <laughs> I just feel so lucky that I've been able to continue my association more closely with the Sobe Foundation. I love volunteering, I love being part of recruiting new Sobe scholars, and whenever there's a new batch of scholars, I feel so envious of them. <laughs> I believe that the Sobe program is really critical in investing in young people from across the world to learn about themselves and about each other, to learn about differences and respecting differences, to learn how to assert their leadership in their own style and to learn about other styles of leadership. And I think if we can get more youth in such programs, it would lead to a better world for all of us.